Today's video is all about showing you how I use thrifted pieces in and throughout my home. So last Friday, I showed you a video of where I went thrifting in Goodwill. So I am going to give you a quick little recap of things that I purchased. The first two things are these file cabinet looking things here. Not cabinets, like file boxes. So I picked up this metal file box and I plan on putting my 2022 and 2023 paperwork in this. This was cheaper than buying something at Walmart. So why not? It'll work great up in my attic. It's metal. It's not going to ruin none of those things. And then I picked up this little brown box. I'm not really sure what its original purpose was or what it was intended for but I have a plan for it to use with my Berkey water system and if you look on the corners here I absolutely love how this box is put together the next thing that I grabbed was this ironstone I'm not really sure what this is if this is a little flower pot or what it is but that's what I'm going to use it for I wanted to show you here on the bottom I talked about this in last week's thrifting and haul video that it shows that it was made in the USA little gold frame I absolutely Absolutely love these y'all I have so many of these in all different sizes and this one I picked up because Elizabeth had senior pictures done not too long ago and I wanted a frame for her to put her senior picture in so we're still waiting on that to come in and then I came across a little Wexford canister and if you've been around my channel for a while you know that I have a huge collection of these I absolutely love these and I want to use this over on my coffee bar to hold some collagen I have something over there right now and it's more of a decorative piece so I definitely wanted to get that to put my collagen in and then I could not leave this adorable little lamp y'all I love lamps and I love these little punched tin looking lamps I just did not like the color of that one so we do give this a little lamp facelift here in a little bit and then I come across a piece of this I believe it's Marshall pottery I have a lot of these pieces in my home too but I have never came across a coffee mug so I had to get that and I've also been on the hunt for a cake plate with a lid. So why not pick up a KitchenAid brand um, <laughs> cake plate? Because you know that's a good quality. We all know KitchenAid is good quality. And so I wanted to grab this. And then this beautiful scarf that you can use to use in your decor. You can wear it during the winter. Hang it out of a basket on the side of a couch or a chair. Or just on your ottoman as I am going to do. So let's get all of these items cleaned up. And then let me show you how I am using all of these pieces in my home today. You will see that I use a lot of lemon essential oil to get a lot of the Goodwill stickers off just because I find that those stickers come off just effortlessly, effortlessly with the lemon essential oils. But I am in no way trying to push a brand or lemon essential oil on you. There are other ways to get those stickers off. I just already have this, so this is what I'm going to use. Now, I just do want to show y'all that I do bring all of my thrifted pieces home and they get a thorough clean before I use them, even in my decor. I will either wash them in the washing machine, wash them in the sink. So this video is going to show you a lot of thrifted pieces as they come into my house and how I clean them and then how I style them. So I'm kind of trying to give you the process from the time it comes from the thrift store into my home until it gets cleaned and then styled. So let's just get right into it. I hope that you enjoy this video all throughout. I mean, it moves kind of fast. We go from one piece to another and it's a lot of fun. I do show you how I'm going to take one pothos plant and I'm going to turn it into three because I need to fit it into some smaller vessels. We are going to take that burgundy punch tin lamp and we are going to give it a makeover and refresh it up. Anyway, this video is just jam-packed and I hope that it gives you all of the thrifted decor inspiration that you need. And can I just say that this is probably my most favorite coffee drinking mug 
by far to date. I have used this thing every day since I thrifted it last week. I just keep washing it and putting it right back on the coffee pot so it's ready for the next day. It keeps my coffee hot, which I absolutely love. And y'all, it is just the perfect fit in my hand because y'all all know if it don't fit in your hand just right, it's got to go. Now let's get over here and move all of these books so that I can get this box that I thrifted underneath this Berkey so it's a little more stable. I've had a few people ask me how this Berkey water filter system works, and I just wanted to show you that was the top piece with the two filters in it, and then it just sits right on top of that bottom part that had just a little bit of water in it, which I need to fill up. You'll see me do that here in just a second. Mine is a smaller one. It is a one-gallon Berkey water filter, and I wish I would have got the bigger one now, but I mean, you live and learn, so I just take a gallon-sized plastic pitcher, fill it up from my faucet, and put it in the top part and let it, you know, drip through the filter system there on top and I love it it's a lot more sturdy on this box than it was on the books the books were a great little temporary fix for me it uh, definitely showed me what I needed to be looking for at the thrift store as far as height and everything goes on a box so this one is actually perfect
So these brownies were absolutely delicious. I got these at Sam's just in case you're wondering. As you can tell, someone has already got a piece out of the pan before I ever got to finish filming my last little clip. This pan of brownies was actually pretty heavy, so I was impressed when I put the lid on it and I was able to pick it up and nothing budged, like it was intact. So that's gonna be wonderful for when I need to take a dish somewhere. Aluminum foil does work, but that lid with a handle sure does make it handy. I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing all of my thrifted pieces pieces and how I use them in and throughout my home. We hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and I'll see you back here Friday with a brand new video.